my returning subscribers thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos i really appreciate much much for your love your support everything that you do for me those good good things <laughs> but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends i've been getting this question from you guys bella how will i know a guy is serious on online dating apps but you guys don't ask me how will i know a guy is not serious on online dating apps because exist ladies that have been wasting their time chatting to wrong men without knowing those guys are just wasting their time just playing mind games so you find a lady dating a guy for two years three years and later on comes to find out a guy was just wasting her time but if she noticed at the beginning of the relationship or if she noticed even in the first message that guy sent to her when they started their communication she could not have even started that relationship so that is why i am here guys to share with you this video which is about when you hear these words from a guy on online dating apps run run for your life for oh. <laughs> Because the relationship will not end well there is no need for you to start that relationship so number one word oh my god i talked of this i think a year ago in one of my past video but i've been getting questions you guys asking me bella what does that mean i'm chatting with a guy he is telling me this can you please explain even last time when i was doing a premium someone asked me same same thing same same question <laughs> words and i explained a bit everyone was like what <laughs> like most of you really don't know what it means also some ladies went ahead and dated the guys that told them these words but later on the relationships couldn't work so your sister is here to save your what are those words that I'm starting with? Number one, let's take an example or oh, imagine you are on online dating apps, then you start chatting with this guy, he's cute, you know? <laughs> Seems like he's even financially okay. Then when you start chatting, the guy is like, you know what? I am a submissive man, I'm looking for a dominant woman. Or I am a dominant man, I am looking for a submissive woman. <laughs> when you hear those words, number one, a guy who is mentally normal, a guy who will start a healthy relationship with you will never utter out words like that we we'll never have even an idea of such kind of words but most of the times when ladies hear a guy is looking for a submissive woman you all imagine maybe he wants a lady who is calm understanding you know <laughs> no guys it doesn't mean that at all when a guy on online dating apps tells you i am looking for a submissive woman that means your relationship will be like a master and a slave you are not supposed to ask that guy questions you will never question him because he is your master whatever he tells you it is yes 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 because you are a slave he is your master he is the one to run that relationship tell you how to dress tell you how to look you know <laughs> what to eat what to do and everything when he is talking you are supposed to keep quiet and obey <laughs> last time there is a sister of mine she's my client so i've been helping her on online dating apps and when she came to me was in a relationship already so i've been guiding her until the relationship couldn't work out then she came and was like bella you know what this guy at first 
had told me he is looking for a submissive woman <laughs> and one time we were talking i was asking him something he was like keep quiet and obey don't talk <laughs> Oh my god, I was really really sorry and she was like, Bella, I did not tell you about that. I didn't know guys. So if I knew, I could have told her, girl, he said he wants a submissive woman. There is no relationship there because it will not work. Those are weird guys, weird, weird guys. If you hear that, dear sister, run. <laughs> So that is what it means by being submissive. You follow whatever he tells you. You have no say in your relationship. But when we come on the side of the intimate side, the goodies <laughs> side, you have to be submissive too to that guy. So he will take the goodies. <laughs> The way he wants to take those goodies, you have to be submissive and let him do whatever he wants to do on your body. You have no say on your body. And I wonder how can a woman accept to be in such kind of a relationship? That means you have to be very, very manipulated, brainwashed. <laughs> to accept such kind of a relationship, really. So, for example, you are, you know, in that intimate situation. Some of these guys will come with an idea, if you are the slave, of tying your arms, tying your legs, you know, <laughs> and take the goodies. Oh, they will tie your arms, tie your legs, and cane you. When you get hurt, that is when he feels so excited. That is why I told you something else. When you are chatting with a guy online, please don't forget to ask that question of his sex fantasies. <laughs> Get to listen to him if you will be able to make him happy on that. But if it is not your thing, better run or run for your life. <laughs> So that is if the guy wants a submissive woman. So this guy that is telling you wants a dominant woman and he is submissive. That means you are the master. Master even in taking the <laughs> goodies. Yes. You have to tie him, cane him, you know. <laughs> When he feels hurt, he is excited. Those are weird, weird, weird guys that exist on this planet. <laughs> but that is how they have chosen to live their life. The problem is we are black African women raised differently. So if you're going to date a guy, even if he's a white guy, should be just a normal white guy that takes a relationship, you know, in a normal way, not on that weird level. <laughs> Because not all white men have got those weird, weird fantasies. But on online dating apps, you can come across lots of them. That is why you have been receiving lots of messages of guys telling you they are looking for a submissive woman or a dominant woman. They will be submissive to you. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes, guys, this submissive dominant, you don't find it when you start chatting with him even some of them write in their profiles so when he writes to you go read the profile when you find i am dominant looking for a submissive woman run oh. <laughs> don't write that first message and do not respond to him when he writes to you so guys number two we imagine you are there on online dating apps you know browsing through men's profiles then you come across a guy's profile this guy is cute everything is good on him then you start chatting and when you start that conversation he talks to you in a good way even when you see him on a video call he is a normal normal guy not those weird weird guys you know someone telling you i am 30 then you find a 60 years old guy on a video call no he is the same as the photos you see on, on online dating apps so as you keep on with your conversation then he starts bringing stories of having three 
<laughs> so start telling you oh i would really like when you come to visit you know we sleep together you me and my cousin or you me and my ex-wife or you me and my daughter or you me and my mother when you hear that run <laughs> don't even try to think that you will change the idea of that guy he is the weird guy already <laughs> And it does not end there. He will keep on coming with different weird, weird ideas. <laughs> so you won't be able to justify him, maybe, if you are also a weird, weird lady. <laughs> but if you're not, don't even try it. Run all. <laughs> so guys, number three. To the conversations to run from, the words when you hear them, your, your ears should stand like this, that mm -mm, there is a red flag. When you are chatting with a guy on online dating apps and then this guy starts telling you, oh, I am a military guy, you know, those army guys. <laughs> and by the way, please tell me if your relationship with that army guy ever worked. Because <laughs> mine failed though. <laughs> <laughs> After a few days of chatting, he was like, I'm called on a mission and you have to wait for me for three years. <laughs> I won't be able to communicate with you. Then after two months, three, he returned. I was like, thank you so much. You dropped me like a hot potato. <laughs> Wanted to start again the relationship, but he was just a player. <laughs> and from my own experience, those army guys on online dating apps, <laughs> if the relationship is going to work out, it is only 1%. If we have to rate to 100. <laughs> yeah, so when you're chatting with a guy and then he tells you, I am a military guy, <laughs> start expecting stories like, I won't be able to communicate with you. I'm called to go on a mission to Ukraine. I'm called to go on a mission to go to Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan. <laughs> I don't know. Those guys are really, really weird. I don't know why they play lots of games. So to be able to deal with such kind of a guy, if you really want to give it a try, instead of running, observe each and everything that he tells you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah otherwise you'll only waste your precious time or you are chatting with a guy he starts telling you i am a captain <laughs> i don't know i work in the sea <laughs> expect stories of being scammed guy will bring money talks investments my bank account has been blocked where I am, it is in the middle of the sea. So there is no network. I can't access my bank accounts. Can you please help me? I love you so much. You know, I'm planning to marry you. <laughs> Rano. <laughs> ah, these guys. <laughs> they play too, too much. So those captains that works in the sea, mm, <laughs> in the ship, or some of them will tell you, I am an engineer, I work for a gas company or oil company. So the country that I am in now, it's not the country of my origin. I'm here only for work. Like there is this guy. <laughs> oh goodness. He has been going around on online dating apps lying to ladies saying that he is an Italian but works in America. He is an engineer. <laughs> then starts bringing stories, then money talks. Even one time he was introducing himself to a lady and then was like, this is my mother, this is my father, this is my aunt. And guys, <laughs> Oh my goodness, the photos that he was showing to a lady, it is of an Italian lady that, oh my god, her story was a tragedy. Had two daughters and those daughters conspired, you know, with the boyfriend. They were all sleeping with one guy, <laughs> sisters. <laughs> so they conspired, three of them, to take the life of their mother. 
because the father had left lots lots of money lots of apartments so they were like their mother wasn't giving them enough money to enjoy life travel all around the world buy expensive vehicles so they were seeing that time is going very slow before god takes the mother so they decided to take the life of their mother and that lady had only two daughters never had a son <laughs> but this karma introduced himself to a lady and told the lady this is my mother sent a photo of that lady if you live in italy or you are an italian watching this you will know this lady here her story it was such a sad story to make matters worse scammers are using her photo oh my goodness some people can be really really cruel so be very careful of these guys that they are engineers you know i work in italy i am an american you know for a gas company an oil company no those are just stories <laughs> and if you use bella's tips you will catch him that he's only lying to you run for your life oh my sister <laughs> so guys to number three you are on online dating apps then you are chatting with a guy you exchange few messages maybe it is your third message to chat then this guy asks you how much do you earn how much is your salary <laughs> This is the question that I discouraged you to ask a guy on online dating apps. And a guy who is serious shouldn't ask you how much is your salary at all at all. Cause love has got nothing to do with your salary. When you are starting your relationship, you shouldn't be talking about how much you earn <laughs> in the early stages of communicating you have to be very very careful please please but if you've been chatting with a guy maybe it has been three months four months of course maybe that question can come and maybe he's asking to know you know <laughs> where to give a hand of help but the guy asking you at the beginning of your relationship you haven't created anything girl that is a scammer he is just trying to do his calculations <laughs> how much he should scam from you so dear sister run <laughs> number four you are chatting with a guy all is good this guy is sweet he calls you on a video call oh my god promises you the world i'm gonna marry you i will make kids with you you start even choosing the names of your kids <laughs> <laughs> you know how they fantasize right so maybe you are in contact with bella you ask bella what questions can i ask this guy <laughs> then bella is like you know what ask the guy when are you going to meet <laughs> when does he think you guys can meet in real life so when you ask that the guy is like okay we can meet no problem but you will have to pay for your visa then i will send you the ticket i'm not going to send you any documents from me because black african women are scammers you send them documents then they disappear i don't know they do what to the documents <laughs> so you show me your visa and then i send you the ticket so this happened actually recently to the lady that i have been guiding and when she told me guys i got so angry <laughs> why was i angry because the lady believed that the guy loved her she was like bella he loves me i told her no it's not true this guy does not love you i also asked her did you tell the guy that you are a rich girl a boss babe <laughs> She was like, no, I told her, you see, getting a visa by yourself to Europe, you know, sponsor yourself, it's not that easy. You really need enough money. We see Samantha traveled to Italy, but she took a loan, a loan that she will be paying for 10 good years. So it's not cheap. And that guy knows exactly that you cannot afford a visa to his country so he is only buying time he knows you will chat and chat get frustrated because you can't sponsor yourself 
to his country and then the relationship will end <laughs> but this lady was telling me bella maybe i can try to convince him change his mind i was like there is no mind to change <laughs> He knows exactly what he is doing. I'm not going to waste my time to give you tips on how to change that guy, how to change his mind so that I send you the invitation document. <laughs> Yeah, so when you're chatting with a guy, he tells you, show me the visa, I send you the ticket, no documents I'm going to be sending you, don't even keep on chatting with him, no matter how he tells you sweet words <laughs> and your body becomes hot, <laughs> don't go for it, run <laughs> So number five, we have this other category. You chat, all is good, and this guy brings stories that he wants to invite you in his country. You tell him, can't you come in my country first to meet me? The guy is like, no, I cannot come to meet you, and I will never be able to come meet you in your country, but I can invite you to my country. Okay. When you get such kind of a proposal, at first you'll be like, ah, it's okay. After all, it's me that is going to be living in his country. But no, girl, it's not okay. That guy is a red flag himself. Because <laughs> who knows, in his country, he has got some criminal records and he is not supposed to travel outside the country. Who knows? And who wants to get involved with a criminal. Yes, I know at the embassy, before they grant you the visa, they have to go through, you know, the documents of the person inviting you. But sometimes these people get away with it. They use their mothers, they use their sisters to invite you <laughs> to the country. But because you don't know, you'll be like, ah, as long as it is the sister, no problem. No, you shouldn't ignore that. Don't you ever accept go to a guy's country whereby that guy is telling you will never be able to go to your country something is not right somewhere and those are the relationships that i call complicated relationships so if you want to stick to that guy because he's so good he's spoiling you <laughs> <laughs> then get to know the whole situation tell him to be open with you clear with you no matter how bitter it is so that you get to understand if you should go or not but if it was me i will run <laughs> I want to look for a solution in such kind of a situation because I know it will not end well. So number six, you are on online dating apps. Everything is going good because it always starts very, very well. And maybe you are in your 20s, <laughs> middle 20s, late 20s, in your 30s. Then you're chatting with a white guy, for example. He is in his 60s, 70s. Yes, some ladies have got that courage. So as you keep on communicating, <laughs> what happens? This guy tells you, I am jobless. I am looking for a job. Soon I will find a job. So you keep on chatting. You wait for him till he finds the job. But in your mind, of course, you know he's the white guy. So he must have some savings <laughs> at his age. So you bring the meeting thing. This guy tells you, no, I cannot be able to come see you. And I cannot invite you here. Because still I am looking for a job. Meaning that guy do not have savings at his age, at 60, at 70. But still chatting with a young lady in her 20s, in her 30s. Interested in that range of age. <laughs> Dear beautiful ladies, I'm not telling you to be materialistic, but that is a red flag. Those are the guys you'll find that they are being supported by the government. So with a guy like that, I advise you to run, run. Why should you run? Because he's still looking for a job. He will still look for a job at 80. <laughs> 
he will still be giving you stories i am looking for a job yes he can manage to send you some little money because some of them are being supported by the government yes he can try his best you know and ask a brother to be the one to invite you to his country but remember when you join him you've got your own idea of marrying a white guy of living in europe so you come you find that a guy is living a poor life even more than the life you are living in your country you start falling into a depression it is better not to start such kind of a relationship when you hear a guy is jobless is looking for a job <laughs> run <laughs> Let him first find a job and return to online dating apps to look for love cause interracial dating. You guys that are interested in interracial marriages, it's not cheap not cheap at all at all at all. A guy should have even if you are you know a bit financially okay but you are the one to relocate to his country so he should be financially stable not rich don't get me wrong and some of these jobless old men that are looking for young ladies in their 20s you are in your 70s you are in your 60s they are looking for young ladies to babysit them that's all so you find that he is poor doesn't have a job gets a help from the government wants you to stay at home when he marries you to babysit him my sister it won't be easier <laughs> Choose an option of running. Number six, when you are on online dating apps and then you find a guy, he is good, he has got all qualities that you ever wanted in a guy, except this guy tells you, I am physically unfit. Before you run, get deep into things to understand how physically unfit is that guy. Because some of the guys, you find that their situation is even the worst. And as a lady, before you take that big responsibility, you first need to understand the situation, how it is. So don't just imagine and be like, no, he told me he's physically unfit, but I don't think it is that much, much, much. I think I can handle it. <laughs> Do not imagine, guys. Remember, this is online dating. Please, please, dear sisters. And when you get deep into things, you find that the situation is find not something that you will support. Don't go for desperacy and be like, because I'm desperate, I'm looking for someone, I have to go out of here. Let me take this guy that is in that condition. Think, 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 and think before you make that decision. So if we leave that one of someone being very, very sick, some of the guys on online dating apps will start by telling you they have got, you know, some healthy problems. <laughs> but it is a way of telling you that we are going to chat and chat and chat when I am tired. This same, same sickness I'm telling you <laughs> will be the one to end our relationship. Because he will chat with you and then when you tell him how can we meet, he will tell you I am very, very sick. Oh, when things get serious, <laughs> he starts getting scared and wants to run away from the responsibilities. He will tell you, due to my health condition, I cannot keep on this relationship. So be very, very careful. But some other guys on online dating apps, you'll chat with them and immediately they will start telling you they've got a sick mother, a very, very sick mother. They've got a very sick, you know, daughter. They've got a very sick aunt. <laughs> and when you chat, 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 they will end the relationship by telling you, oh, my daughter needs me very, very much. My aunt needs me very, very much. I have to take care of my mother. I have to think of my mother. I can't handle a relationship. It is becoming too much for me. But a simple question is, why did you go on online dating apps to search for a lady and then you started chatting with her if you knew that your mother needed you the most if you knew your daughter needed you the most 
that's when i tell you he is just a player a mother being sick a daughter being sick has got nothing to do with your relationship so those are the things when you hear from a guy please stay on that alert mode start watching the red flags keep chatting with different men don't stick to only him <laughs> in this case i'm not telling you to run because you know sickness is something normal to our lives but how is that person handling it how is it affecting your relationship those are the things you really need to observe i hope here you understand me so guys number eight i have been guiding ladies on online dating apps and when we talk of the profile i always remind you guys to write a disclaimer it is very very important but the disclaimer that we always write we write it in a polite way like you are trying to tell people i am a genuine lady here i'm not here to waste time i am not a prostitute so please do not ask me for nude photos thank you but you go on online dating apps you come across a guy's profile oh my god yes a disclaimer is good is important maybe due to that guy's experience but the way that disclaimer has been written it is in a very rude way in a very arrogant way like scammers stay away from me ladies from ghana nigeria ivory coast uganda don't even try me i am not going to support nobody <laughs> financially if you're looking for someone to support you financially do not even try to look for me that's not good guys something is not right don't think that guy is good oh my god i want to show this guy that i am not after money i want to show this guy that i am not a scammer after all my country is not mentioned <laughs> girl you align to yourself for because at the moment you write that guy the first message he will be like are you for real <laughs> are you after my money or you are looking for love because i don't trust black african women <laughs> he will be talking about all those stuffs and what i have learned from my own experience those guys it's not that they are looking for love they are looking for a way to offend others by insulting them because a normal guy that has been hearing scamming stories or he got a very bad experience on online dating apps he won't come in that arrogant way no matter how angry he is because coming back to an online dating apps it means he still believes good ladies still exist yes so he won't come in a defensive way arrogant way rude way not at all be very careful when you come across that rano <laughs> you won't be special to him and we have this category of these guys they are very very good when you see them oh my god you are like i have found the one and also when you go through their description on online dating apps you'll find it's like the guy has written a book you know <laughs> like long 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 description about himself <laughs> so you get deep into a conversation maybe it's you who sent him first the message or it's him who sent you the message first but he responded to you or you responded to him so when you start talking this guy it's like he's making a research he's asking you questions but not in a normal way whereby two people want to get to know each other you know and fall in love no he asks you questions like he is trying to interrogate you <laughs> and whatever you tell him he's like i know i know i know <laughs> those much know guys those guys that think that they are very very intelligent but when you go through your conversation let's say of two or three days there is nothing nothing that shows the guy is interested in you it's only an interrogation and kind rude you know at the same time when you see that dear sister don't be deceived 
by his looks. Don't be like, I'm looking for a guy who is very intelligent. So I'm gonna stick to him. No, this guy is doing his own research. Some guys on online dating apps are crazy. Some got nothing to do. So they just go around and be like, let me chat with, you know, with an African lady, an example, and you know, <laughs> get to see how things goes. But the guy is not interested at all. A guy who is really interested, he wrote to you or responded to you because he went through your profile and liked you. You will see just by the conversation. I'm not saying he will tell you I love you on the first date. No, but he's going to be polite on you. He's going to listen to you. He will never interrogate you. So when you feel interrogated, run all <laughs> before you waste your time. Lastly, guys, I won't waste much time on this. I discussed about it in the video that I shared about Paxa, a lady who was scammed, you know, by a Nigerian guy who pretended to be Canadian. Guys who tell you, I don't have parents, I don't have even siblings. I am alone on my own. <laughs> When you hear that, before you run, because I told you, do not jump into a conclusion. Watch the red flags. See what follows after that. Please, please. If this guy is going to be ready to introduce you to his friends, if this guy is going to be ready to introduce you to his world, talk to you on a video call, make you live that peaceful dating life, not give you nightmares or... Oh. <laughs> for example you are chatting with a guy online all is good and then he disappears for a week or two weeks same same guy told you that he doesn't have parents where was he <laughs> what was he doing and, and why would you disappear without letting me know if i am your girlfriend so be very very careful with guys like those ones so dear friends it is my hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would really love to read your comment please subscribe if you have not subscribed join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.